it skims. And I'll let you know. Because, honey, baby, I'm going to get my tiny up in here. Yeah. to all my butterflies out there. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do, <laughs> it's so funny. You, you find yourself saying the things that other people say. This is Grandma Channel. If I got something to show you, I'll show it. If I go somewhere, I'll show you that. So it just all depends on what you're here for. You're here for the fashion, you're here for the beauty, you're here for the lifestyle. You're going to get something. And at the end, I always give you a devotional. So, I'm so excited. As you just saw, I went to a vegan, um, they call it a junk food. food. It was delicious. And I said whatever was good, too. You ready? You saw by the thumbnail that I have a problem. So, it's at this moment that I'm trying to figure out is it me am i the problem or was it good sales going on i don't know you let me know i'm gonna start with beauty okay so i got this i'm gonna try this this is new let me see let, let it focus i don't know if it's gonna focus on it there we go so this is by um camellia Re rose camellia rose and it is the Honey Hydrate. So I wanna see if I can put this on my hair and it's a leave-in conditioner. I got it from Target um, and it looks just like honey. And I wanna see if it will, so my hair is so soft and so fine. That's why even though my hair is natural, I can't do all the fancy afros and all that stuff like that and all the fancy stuff because my hair is thin and fine. But I want to keep it healthy underneath all this. So this is what I'm going to use. Next, of course, I had to get something for Fenty. You know they have the new, you have seen it a thousand times. I'm quite sure they, you've been show this. And it is, of course, their body butter. But it's in the new one. So get it before it's gone. Um, let me see. How do you open this? Okay. So it's in the brown, pretty brown uh, or tan container. And 
Oh, it smells so good. I can't wait to put this on. I'm saving it for my crew so that I can be all shiny when I go walking through um, Mexico and all the other places I'm going. I got some stuff from Saks off Fifth. So I got this facial spray with aloe uh, abdot abdotions. I don't know. Adapticons. Hmm. And coconut water. So, let me show you this. So, I like to put, when I wake up in the morning, I take a shower. I like to spray rose water on my face. And I showed you the one that I get from Amazon. It's not being replaced. I to showed you, go back to my videos, because I need views. So, go back to my videos. I showed you the best rose water for your face. This right here, I wanted to try because of the uh, aloe vera and the coconut water. And I wanted to see, um, you know, on other times, use this, see how it is. It was on sale, so I wanted to try it. And I want to see what it makes my face look like. Because I'm trying to keep well hydrated. Because you know, the older you get, right? You know it's my birthday month coming up. And you know I'm going to celebrate all of January. And I just want, you know, I'm getting older, guys. I'm almost at the 6-0. I'm at 59. I'm almost at the 6-0. So I got to take care of myself. You know what I mean? Try to give me some, your skin start losing nutrients and you start, you know, you're already looking old. And, you know, when I say old, what I mean is, because I feel young on the inside. So don't get that twisted. When I say old, I mean, I mean older. You know what your skin look like in your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, your 50s. And now I'm about to be 60. So it don't look the same. You might want to try and say it does, but it doesn't. What else did I get? I got this Burberry. And I love the packaging. I hope you can see it. You see how that packaging? It, it's, it has the Bur Burberry um, packaging you know, the look on this, um, and it's a, um, lipstick or a lip, like a lip gloss, you know, like, um, not like my Dior oil that I got on now, but it's like a, uh, what do they call it when it's not a gloss, but it's, a, um, it's still a moisturizer, uh, chap, it's like a chapstick, but not, moisturizer and I got it in let me see the color I got it in because you know I can't see uh I got it in tropical I think core I got it in core and it comes in the packaging like this because I don't think I showed you the packaging I just busted open it comes in the packaging like this so you see Burberry there I hope you can see it probably backwards but so I got that and I did a blind buy so I got two perfumes fragrances I'm going to show you this one both are blind buys and I went solely by the notes nothing else and the first one I got is Floris Oud um, Floris Honey Oud the name of the perfume house is Floris. I hope you can see it. And when you open it, it looks like this. Let's see if it'll focus so you can, because it won't focus on me. So let me get behind it. See, Floris. Okay, so it's their honey oud. I will put the notes here. Now, this right here, uh, let me tell you what this smell like. I got to give you like a, a where would I wear it to type thing. I wouldn't wear it to work. Definitely a date night. Definitely if I'm going somewhere exotic. Like when I go on my cruise, I will definitely wear this on if it's something I'm doing that night that mm, I'm going to put on something sleek beautiful and I feel sexy and strong because this is a masculine scent and if you don't like masculine scents 
don't get this or get it and pair it with a very um rich uh sweet perfume if you want to tone it down but this grown woman and you say old woman i say grown woman i'm sitting at the cigar bar with you and i don't smoke but i like the atmosphere and i like the fact that it's jazz playing and i'm feeling very sexy this is what this is i love it now all i need is a date i just need a date look sexy you know and then i go home by myself next what y'all been watching first of all if you like marvel i hope you watched the um uh, the Christmas special with what is the name of it? Um, you know, it's got Groot and the raccoon and um, Star Lord. Oh my god, what is the name of it? How do I not? I don't know, man. You know, I'm gonna put the name here. I kind of forgot already. Okay, Ultra had a sale if you buy something depending on the price you get a robe so i got the let's get sheep face mask and i did not get this for me i got this for my granddaughter um so when i went back home my granddaughter was like grandma she's 11. she said grandma um, I want to get a face mask. And I'm like, oh, okay. Um, we can have a spa day. So I got her one, of course, uh, hyperallergenic, nothing in it. And that's what this is. It's vegan. So there's nothing to harm her young skin. Um, it's good for her face. So we did it. Let me tell you, I had to make her take that mask off. She wanted to wear it she felt beautiful in it she felt like her face was getting what it needed because she's young and she already started off very young with all her womanly problems if you know what i mean and so already her skin is affected and i think by her having that mask on she felt like something was being done and so i got her these vegan because i don't want to have to fight nobody i don't want to have to fight nobody because I'm one of them grandmas. To me, that's my granddaughter. I will fight you over her. Mama, daddy, don't matter. So, I made sure it was vegan. Good for her skin. So, can't nobody say, oh, she young, she her skin. Shut up. I got it. So, I got that. And it's a bunch of them. It's 14 day. So, it's 14 days worth. And I'm going to tell her, don't use all these 14 days straight. Once a week. So, I got that. And I did another blind buy. So what did I get? Now this one I haven't smelled. So I waited to I waited for you. I waited for you because y'all wait for me. Because you see, I don't be up here all the time. I ain't got I got eight true diehard followers, honey. And this is all for you. And my new ones. Stick with me. Stick with me. This is uh, grandma show you everything about what grandmas go through, okay? And older women and fashion and how we can still dress and be in style yes without being you know i'm not trying to be i'm not trying to style beyond my age because there's no there's no age thing but there is there is like you wouldn't catch me with a, a two-piece bathing suit on not caring that i have a belly because i have a belly honey i care because if i don't want to see it i don't want you to see it all right, so I got the Jimmy Choo. Look at that bottle. So this is the, which one is this? Cause this was on sale. Look at the pretty box that it came in. All this stuff is so nice. All packaged for holidays. Jimmy Choo, I want you. I want you, baby. All right, so let's see what it smells like, guys. Oh, wait. 
See, that's what I'm talking about. You don't know what you're doing. Okay, the top. When you take this part off, which they ain't had to... They ain't, really? Oh, okay. So you take that off. And then the bottle has... The bottle has the spray right there. It's a ball. And this is so pretty. Let's see what it smells like. Because I'm going to wear it today. I'm going to let it sit. And I'm going to see. Because already, baby. Already, baby. It ain't even. It ain't even. Um, it smells good. So, um, I can do masculine and I can do sweet. I can do them both. As long as it smells good to me. And here is the... Here is the free robe. Look at this, guys. It got me a free... Uh, and I like the, that it's not white. It's like a... a, a um, you know that off-white color? Cream color. And it looks so lush i'm gonna be so warm thank you i love a free robe thank you i'm gonna take that on my cruise too because even though they give you robes in the in the room i don't they feel like they've been washed a thousand five times but these this ship is new that i'm going on but once I go on the cruise, I'll tell you everything, show you everything. But it's a new ship. So maybe they haven't washed, washed the robes a hundred times. Can you use some softener? I'm just saying. To make it soft again. Because it be feeling hard. And I don't like that. Okay, next. Okay, my son on his way. So I got to hurry up because he be rushing me. Next. I'm going to show you everything that I bought online thrifting because you know i do thrift online sales so everybody had a black friday even my online people and i'll save the stores for last okay so first thing is i got a belt buckle you can put this buckle on anything you want to put it on any long as the belt is you know you you gotta have a good belt to put it on but look at this guys look at this Versace-esque belt buckle. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Because that's going to look good. Don't tell me. Because that is going to look good, honey. Over something. All nice and big. Okay. I didn't got stuff. And I'm going to tell you right now. I didn't forget. I didn't forget what I got. So... We doing another surprise opening because don't forget, I may have bought it from them, but I still don't know what I got. Oh, okay. I know what this is. This is this going to be a mess. Okay, so these are, I got two sets of, I just wanted some, um, what are these things called? You know when you get um what is these things called? Uh, um when you get oh man, a pullover, a sweatshirt, sweatshirt type of thing. <clears throat> the difference is this sweatshirt has a little mock collar, so it's vintage, it's old. And you know I got it in my favorite color. Can you imagine that? One with a mock neck. I got it in purple. I can put it on the floor because I'm going to wash it. And I got it in this pretty blue. So this is what I'm going to wear in the winter, honey. This right here. These type of things. For the little winter we have. But I'm going back home. So I can have some stuff as well. So I got that. Let me go open this door for my son. All right. So next. I mm, wonder what this is. All right. So this is a dress. Look at this dress, guys. 
So it's black with a pretty pink collar and bow and it's long. Well, not long to the floor, but long, but I'm hoping it ruches up because I'm, you know, my body's huge. Not huge, but big. Okay, so the bow goes in the back. So it's like this. You can put the bow in the back because it goes like this and then you hit them with the power in the back. A lot of people say, turn around, head the bow in the front. Me, I want to, you want to see me coming? I'm, I'm demure, I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm just so. Then you see it in the back and I be like, you thought. I'm totally different when you get to know me. That's the type of dress to see. All right. So that dress is going to be wear somewhere for the holidays, a holiday video. I'm going to wear it somewhere. All right, next. Oh, girl. I have problems, but I ain't got no life. I ain't got no life. Take care of my own self. Take care of my own bills. Do what I want. But 2023, I don't know about you, but I've made promises to myself. I ain't make them to nobody else, but I've made them to myself. I'm going places and I'm going to do things. Okay. I guess I ordered this, got this belt. I love the color, but whose waist is this? Hold on, wait a minute now. These people in their non-measuring tails. Oh, I can get it on. Woo, it's going to separate the fat, though. Oh, but this is nice, isn't it? Don't get me the plan. I put it as far as I can and put some bob, some of those cute pin, bobby pins on the side that look like, you know, it looks really cute. And I'll pin this jank on something. I'll do something with it. I can get it on because I just wrapped around myself, but... I can't eat nothing that day. That belt's nice. I love the color. And then, oh, shaka shaka now. <laughs> Y'all know I love me some sparkle, and you know I love me a vest. So look at both of them together. Look at this. Let me show it to you up close. Look at that. Is that not nice? Oh my goodness. Y'all know I have a thing for a all types of bling and, and, and looking all um, different and exotic. That is so cute. And I got it oversized so I can put it over stuff. I'm doing good so far, honey. Got me some stuff. I ain't spending no more money. Because I need me some money when I go. When I go. I ain't spending another dime on nothing. So I ain't going nowhere. Anybody ask me you wanna go somewhere? Do I gotta spend the money? Yeah, nope, I ain't going. Okay, so for this one, if you bought something, you got this pouch for free. She had her little uh her little sale, and it was a, a five dollar sale. So, and you got this pouch for free. Is this not nice? And it's waterproof, so when I go on the beach and stuff, I can take this. Oh, maybe I didn't. Look at this. Look at these colors. You know I'm taking this on my cruise. Has something real sexy on. But I don't want my, all my belly and stuff to show, but I'm going to have something really sexy and short or sexy and something. And I just wanted something because it's going to be cool on the ship. But I still need to look cute on the ship. It's like every day you need to look cute. I still need to look cute on the ship. But I want to have some type of cardigan. And this can go with so much of what I am going to wear. And it's not thick. I don't know about you, but I'm an avid. I love um, the Adams Family. So I watch the Adams Family. The new Adams Family series. I love the girl Wednesday. I do not like Gomez and Morticia. No, no. Do you understand me? No. Stop it. So I, I like, I ain't see them. Nope, nope, nope. Every time they came on, I walked away. Okay, so this is, I got these handmade, I got a lot of small business stuff. So I, you know I support small business left and right. 
So those online things is small business people who thrift and they sell their stuff they thrifted online. That's a small business. Then I have the ones like this one that do handmade earrings. Y'all ready? Look at these earrings. Look at them earrings. They're dollar bills. Can you see it? They are dollar bills. That's what the tassels are. Homemade. So it's not going to, you know, it's not going to look perfect. No two earrings will look alike. So I got those. Now, I ain't going to lie. It took her a long time to get them to me. So she gave me a pair of free. Look at this. She gave me a pair of free earrings. Got the panther. So one is one side and the other is the other. This is not a panther. This is a, a jaguar. Nice. So one to do one and one to do the other. So I'm gonna make sure I thank her for her uh, for the earrings. And of course, I'm gonna put her Etsy shop on the side. Took a minute. Well worth it. That's a showpiece. I ain't finished. Told y'all I got stuff behind me. So I got another pair of earrings. These I definitely got for my cruise and for the summer. Look at these. Is this sunflowers? I love sunflowers. And look at this. Gorgeous. And you talking about somebody can't wait to wear this? Um, when they on vacation and then in the summertime. All right, I got another box. This is the last of, this is the last, I promise you, of the online, I think. Yep, I ain't got nothing else behind me. Now, I had other stuff that hasn't arrived, but you know I'll unbox that when it comes on the next go-round. Okay, so this is some stuff I got. Some more earrings from that online thrift. I thought these were so cute. Look at these. The gold and white. You don't see too many gold and white earrings. So pretty. I got this bracelet. I like the designs of it. Oh, honey, can you get on? <laughs> Look at that. Nice. So nice. Then I got these bamboo bracelets. Look at these. Child, I'm ready for next summer and I'm ready for the islands. Nice. Oh, and this one came with it. So they all come together. And then the last thing I got was this ring. Look at this ring. I can put this on right now. Look at that. I, you know, I like big rings like this. I can put this on today, which I am. Put it on with my Adidas set. And it matches my glasses. Got these from Amazon. So that is all skims. Yep. I finally decided to try them. So I just got a bodysuit. I won't go on overboard. I don't need no walk around the house. I walk around the house in a t-shirt and nothing else. I don't need nothing fancy, nothing sweet, nothing cute. 
All right, so I got the bodysuit that's supposed to snatch everything that you have in your whole soul. And I got it in, what size did I get? Uh, I got in a large and it's onyx. And there's the Skims tag. Let you know I ain't trying to be funny. It's Skims. And I'll let you know. Because, honey, baby, I'm going to get my tiny up in here. Next, H&M. Come on, you know I got something from H&M. Man, that perfume, that Jimmy Choo. Yes, honey. Mm. I'm switching rings. I'm sure good to put this on. Because this looks so cute. So cute. All right, so what I got? Let me hear it before my son comes. Then he be rushing. Don't be mad. Okay, so... I got a wide pair of pink pants to wear to work. Got the pocket. I like to bring color when I go to work. Do you understand me? They're wide, wide there, but not too wide because you don't want to be going to work looking, you know. You don't want it too wide. Wide enough. I got them in a large, but they look kind of big, Jesus. Okay, but I'll put it right here. But, um, yeah, I like them. They got the little butt button. And I like the color. I have a dark pink, but I want another pink. So I like that. Imagine that with that, um, that cardigan. That's cute. I got me another white shirt. So this one, I'm not even going to take out the packaging. I got another white shirt. It's here. And um, I got it in an extra large. Let me tell you why. And I know it's oversized. But I got this to belt with everything. So this is the white shirt that if I want to belt it and put it on with something like a pair of leather pants and some boots. Or I want to belt it or and put it on with a pair of jeans or tie it up without no problems. That's why I got it extra large. I like it big. So I can wear it like a dress instead of a shirt. And I don't want to take it out because I want the white to stay white until I get it up off flow. Then I got, you know they had a good sale. You know they had a good sale. Then I got this, mm, mm, mm. I ain't gonna, don't tell me. Don't don't mess with me. Look at the ruchins in the in the see through um, arms, and then this right here. I don't care what kind of belly you got, okay? I, it just don't matter to me. This gonna hide it. Can you imagine me with this on the cruise? Come on now. What y'all think? Woo! All right. So that's H&M. I got another dress from H&M. This one is more of a winter fall one, but let's look at it and you could tell me what you think. Well, you, you can't tell me, but anyway. It's this dress and it's got the, of course, the middle it's out and it's a little bit in the in the back as well so my idea for it is i'm going to put a turtleneck on uh, a long turtleneck and so it's going to be cute because the turtleneck will be where the holes are so you know grandma ain't showing uh, i don't know let's see how it look but i really like it and with the sale, I think this was like $8. Come on now. Woo, Jesus. 
So, you know, all this stuff was a cute. I ain't making no excuses. I, I, I really don't like it when people make excuses. Like, well, you know, I accumulated this over time. I don't care what you think. You don't make my money. You don't go to work for me. You don't deal with people at work. You don't have to deal with my bills. I'm not going to justify nothing I buy. I buy what I want. So, Zara. I know y'all seen these dresses. It, uh, several YouTubers of people had them on. I thought it was so cute. Now, I wanted the light. At first, I thought I wanted the denim one that looks really light. Of course, here's the picture. Uh, but I kind of like this dark one. Look at it, guys. And uh, it goes all the way to the floor. And it's got the patterns on it. Let me tell you something. Y'all know I got a belly. I don't hide that. I'm going to tell you like this. When I put this dress on, I don't know if it's the patterns. I don't know if it's the, the silhouette of it or how it looks. It's not tight. It's um, I love it because it's long and I can hold my... I love it when your sleeves go past your wrist. And it looks like I don't have a belly. I'm not going to say flat, but it looked like I don't have a belly. So imagine what it'll look like if I put shapewear on under it. It is, this is one of the most flattering dresses I think I've ever worn. So listen here, you know, all the ones that's very expensive that has the look like you got on a two piece bikini. It's the way it's, it's made because you know, you, it's not see-through. That's the illusion it gives. I really think if it's anything like this Zara one, that is going to be very flattering, but I ain't got no money like that. I got no money like that. So. Um, and I bought their sampler pack because people are always talking about uh, Zara's perfumes. So I'll show it to you right here. They had the sampler pack. Okay, first of all, when it came, uh, delivery driver didn't care about my stuff. When it came, one of the bottles was broke and it is seeped on that dress. So that dress has to be washed. Why? I hate the way that perfume smell that is on that dress. I hate it. I don't like scents now. I, some people like it. If it has any scent of grass or it says it's um, uh, beachy and all that beach scent. I don't like none of that stuff. I don't like none of that stuff. So it came with, let me see, two, four, six, it must have been eight of them so the package was busted um they come like this i don't like none of these i don't like none of these the only one i will tolerate is that one that everybody talks a lot about but it still ain't worth all that hype uh, what's the name of it uh, something let me see if i can find the name of it won't this one all of these smell like that outdoorsy smell. So I'll put these in my humidifier and I will let them um, scent my house because when stuff is on your body versus a mist, it, it, it has a different smell to it. Uh, Amber Woods, I think that's the name of it. I think one of these is Amber Woods and that's the one that everybody raves about. Ebony wood. I'm sorry. The ebony wood. It's okay. It's okay. If you just want to throw something on. And then it disappear. It's okay. But I won't be purchasing it. And I'm glad I got the little sample thing. Because. Mm -mm. Next I got this skirt. Look at this skirt guys. It's a little wrinkled though. And listening to someone else in the little, uh, con you know, the reviews, they said that this ran a little big. No, it don't. What were you a pencil? Are you a pencil in the ran big? Because this don't run big.
So I, instead of getting a large, I went on and got a medium, which I should have stuck to what I know. I mean, yeah, because with Zara, to be, I'd rather it be a little bigger than too small. Like that dress, I was so mad. By the time the sale came, the large was gone. And I got it in the medium, but I'm glad I got it in the medium. But stuff like this, I like it in a large. I don't want to feel stuffed whatsoever. Look at this skirt. I love this, guys. So what it looks like is, let me get it together. Let me get it together. So this is the front. It looked like a pair of jeans, but like a pair of khaki pants. I'm talking about jeans. But it's a skirt with the split. It is so nice. <sighs> I got it on. But I don't feel comfortable, right? So I would definitely have to wear shapewear with it in order for it to look like I won't. But I, if I had a guy large, it would have been perfect. Because, you know, I got to account for my imaginary baby. My little pudge. My imaginary baby. Okay. This I got from Zara. What else have I been watching? Um, I told you about the... What did I tell y'all about? Uh, Wednesday. And I told y'all about uh, Ga Guardians of the Galaxy. That's the name of it. I told you about Guardians of the Galaxy's Christmas special. That was good. Uh, I went to see the movie about the uh, the Santa that from the guy from Stranger Things. The the I call it the bad Santa movie, but whatever that movie. Criminal Minds. How have I forgot Criminal Minds? Come on, people. Criminal Minds. If you was a diehard Criminal Minds fan, please know that Criminal Minds is coming out back. It's on CBS and it's on Paramount Plus, I believe, if you don't want to worry about commercials because I don't like commercials. Okay, I can't do commercials no more. Okay, so here's the bag and the shoes. Okay, so I wanted some loafers so that I can look cute at work with um, some of my slacks. and But I want loafers instead of heels with it. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get me some loafers. I have never, I haven't seen them. I have, did you see me unbox it, right? So I haven't uh, seen them and tried them on. So I hope they fit. Guys, I saw these because I was like, mm, I don't know. Some of the loafers are just too chunky. I don't want it with a lot of like stuff on it. So I said, I want some black. But then I was like, black is so plain. Guys, let me see if it fit because I ain't taking that Zara thing off. Because if I got to take these back, they need to be intact. Oh no, this is this is one. <gasps> Let me see if I can show y'all. Look, guys. Can y'all see it? I told y'all I can still hold my leg up. See, you just don't be playing with grandma. See, y'all think I be playing with y'all. I don't. They feel so good on my feet. They not tight. And I think I went up a size to to ensure that they could fit. No, I just went with an eight. I went with an eight because if they had an eight and a half, I would have got it. I said, should I get a nine? But then I was thinking to myself, if I get a nine and it's too big, I don't want to wear it all, keep wearing it with no socks or nothing. Because this stuff like this, you wear it without socks. You really do. It feels so good. Oh my goodness, it feels good on my feet. So here they go, guys. I put... Right there, I just told y'all like 15 times. Okay. Child, y'all done sat here with me. 
why I went through my obsession. I do appreciate it. I do appreciate y'all sitting with me. But yeah, like I said, with Criminal Minds, and then they already got the antagonist. They already got the bad guy. I'm going to tell you about it because I don't know if you've seen it, but they already got the bad guy and not got the bad guy, but know who the season is going to be about. Like vegan food, I went and got, um, I, I got the buffalo chicken sandwich. And I showed you, like I said, the video shows some of the shops that was out there and the vegan food place was one of them. Um, it wasn't different vegan foods. It's just that food place. And um, I got some stuff and I'll show it to you. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, this is my... All right, so this is my, um, my edge control because I'm going to braid my own hair. I know how to braid, so I was like, why do I keep paying people to put in single, you know, the single knotless braids or the single um, uh, braids that you get where, where you can put the braids that is just like 26 braids on your hair, where it's not a lot, but you kind of part it cute or whatever. I don't know how cute the part's going to be. They're going to be as straight as I can do it. But I bought me some hair. Nothing special because it's just braiding hair. And I'm going to see if I can do my own hair. Because I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute. You can throw 26 braids on your head by yourself. I'm going to do it, guys. So I bought me some edge control. And I got that Hollywood, uh, the Hollywood one I keep seeing on. Oh, this smells so good. Oh my gosh. Good gracious. Um, that I saw on Instagram, I found it on Amazon. And it's Grow My Edges. So, I don't know if you could see it, but. Cause you need a good edge control and gel so that it, when you plait your plait and put the braiding hair over top of it, yours be slicked down, especially when you don't have like a lot of hair, but my hair growing guys, look at that. That's my plait. That's my plait, but my hair is so thin. It is so thin that it's weird because I have my hair straight at the root and just at the bottom is i guess what they call 4c i don't know it, it's natty it's it's coily at the end and but really straight like you thought i had a perm at the root so i can't get the pretty full afros or stuff like that i can't get those but it's long enough for me to do my own plait so you know what i'm gonna do I'm going to, and I'll let you see it because I'm ready to go back home in December. So, uh, Carlella, I hope I see you when I come because I know you're watching. One of my eight people, always. Uh, okay. I, I'm, I'm, I ain't got but this, guys, and I'm done. So, I, when I went to the place, the, the mart, the little event, they had the uh, vegan food. Did I tell y'all I got the Buffalo chicken sandwich, because you know my mind be going crazy. Uh, it was good. It was delicious. Now, I ain't saying it's worth the $14. I'm not saying that. But anyway, so I got this vintage hat. Her, her shot was Disco, Disco Dolly, I think. And look at this green, um, really nice. This material is velvet, I guess. But look at this. And I thought this was so cute. So when I go back home, I can wear this on the plane. Uh, when I have my little plaits or whatever, and I'm going to have my plaits hanging down. That way, if the parts of the root ain't so cute, I still got my little plaits under it. And this is just so adorable. Somebody texted me 
What? Okay. Uh, this is so, guys. This is not cute. This is so. I am so glad I bought this. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. I'm wearing this when I go back home on the plane. Because I think that is so adorable. And I got some candles. They won't cheap, honey. Uh, these are homemade candles. So the name of the shop is Candle. Oh, Candle Leaf. So I got pumpkin chai latte mm. Mm. this smell like some type of um you know what's so weird look at that it's, it smells like uh the coffee um even though it's not three wick what's so weird is they burnt it they were burning it to show you that because you know sometimes with one wick it burns and you have all this candle left. There's, for some reason, it still burn around. I don't know how to explain it. So this one is pumpkin chai latte. These will last me a while because, you know, I like doing my mister. But I like burning my candles when um, company comes over so you can have an ambiance. Um, not that type of ambiance, child. Not that type of ambiance. Like, you you know, you have a steady, you know, your house smell good. And I love burning candles in my bedroom. Other than that, I don't burn candles everywhere. It's my mister. And one of my misters broke. And I was like, I need some candles so I'm ready to buy a mister. Which I'm not going to wait. Ready, I'm not ready to buy until after my trip. I, all this stuff was bought my time for my trip is all I think about now. Okay, so I got wood, wood, leather, brandy. Wood, love, leather, and brandy. And this one, if you don't like masculine scents, because it smells like tobacco. I told you, it smells like a jazz place where it, you know, it smells like my cologne, that perfume I got. It smells like that, but this is a little more woodsy. That's not that that perfume I told you about, the blind, the two eye blind eyes. It's that one is not woodsy. This smells woodsy. So that's how this one look on the inside. Make me think a good smelling man is walking around my house. I'd be like, what? Who is that? Oh wait, it ain't no, it ain't nobody. That's just my candle. In Nordic Night. So this one is a Nordic Night. Oh, this smells good. This one reminds me of something you would put next to the laundry room, because it has that laundry room fresh linen smell. Mm, this one smells good. You can smell this one. And then the last one is Frosted Jupiter. Juniper. I'm sorry. Frosted Juniper. This is the sweetest one. And um, this one is... Mm, it's got a sweet minty um smell and the reason why i say it tastes is because god damn everything smells like something that you probably could eat you know and i didn't want any too many sweet sweet ones so that one's perfect so yeah so the name of the of the the shop is the candle leaf um and it's shopcandleleaf.com all right so the devotion of the day is called a forever song um, it's all about, I read it. So this forever song I sang of the gentle love of God overwhelming me. Young and old alike, we hear about your faithful, steadfast love that's never failing. And that is Psalm 89.1. God's love is never failing. I'm telling you, 
I be thanking him for so the more you watch the 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 more you on the in in the internet world and watching stuff and the more news you hear and the more TikToks you see, thank you God. Thank you for what I got and what I'm not going through. That I mean, we got to thank him for that. But what is the uh what is the story today? Well, have you ever turned on the radio and heard a song that instantly brought you back to a particular memory? I'm talking about when you heard a song that either you dance you want to dance to because you remember when you was on that dance floor and that was one of your favorite songs when you was out turning up. We all got that song. Then you got that slow song that you remember when you was heartbroken and you was listening to it on the radio or on the CD player or because honey, it when I think back to my memories, it definitely was not an AirPod, an Air, an uh, iPad. No, I won't listen to music, none of that. Clear as day, you can feel the same emotions. Picture exactly where you were when you heard it and immediately feel as young as you did in the times you sang it out loud. Sometimes you bring back them memories and you feel like, wow, I remember when I was young and free and, and just, it was one, that song brought back a memory of when you had no cares, no worries, you were having fun. We have songs like that. Music is a beautiful way for us to create a soundtrack of life. Piecing together songs for the years we heard them. Enjoying God's gift of music today. He can put songs in your heart that bring you joy and comfort. Sometimes bring them, listen to them old tunes. Bring up your Pandora, your, your um, Alexa music, your Prime music, your... Uh, any of your, I know there's a whole bunch of uh, music options now. Bring them up. Sometimes bring back the good memories. Stuff that made you feel good. And then that way, when something goes wrong or something that's out of your control and you can't do anything, sometimes don't listen to the sad stuff to make yourself down more. Listen to something that gets your heart racing getting you to remember when you things was good and know that it can be good again all right my butterflies don't forget no matter where you are in your transformation you're beautiful to me bye guys